Hey everybody, you're watching Who Do You Like TV? How you doing everybody? Hi guys. Hey, we got a, we got a great show tonight. Um, that was my song, Beautiful Day, and we, I did a, a video, a home video with it, and that, that was it. Beautiful day. But we got, a, we got a great show tonight. We got no other than Frank James to Woo! our left. We got Dave Coella. Woo! <laughs> Co-host Miranda Pan, <laughs> and we got no other than Bloop, Woo! and we got Joe Long. Everybody, hey, he's gonna do some comedy tonight. Joe, you got some good comedy, right? Yes, I do. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna make everybody laugh on Saturday. I hope so. I stole well, listen, it. Joe, you're you, you're funny just being you. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're a character. We got you. We got you in the cartoon. That right? explains why she was laughing last night. <laughs> oh, no, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor But it's okay to laugh as long as you don't point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we got Dave. He's gonna do some. He's gonna show everybody um, got, out there how to the how to work out, right, Dave? You yeah. got you got some good points. Something about fitness, us. yes. And Miranda's going to uh, demonstrate, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Demonstrate yeah, I was just show something simple, something that you don't have to go to the gym and still be able to do it from home or from anywhere you want. Wow, that's great. Pray for me. No, and no, no, it won't be hard. You, you'll see. It'll yeah, be simple. but, well, you, you, you had a couple of people already that lost, like, 10, uh, Yes, pounds, actually, right, yes. In the last couple of weeks, I had about, um, about, about 50 women who lost anywhere from 5 to 13 pounds in 7 days. Wow. Okay, and my programs are actually designed just for women, 35 and over, right? Okay. And more like an entrepreneur women, you know, uh, something like corporate, they're always in the office. And then this actually gets them active again and also makes their metabolism kick in again. That's right? cool. wow. But I mean, if you, if you guys want to try, it will work for you, but it's mainly designed for women. Mm -hmm. Okay? What's the, uh, like, as far as we're just going to talk about this for a second, then we're going to show a, bit, uh, a, a flick. Um, what, what is mentally get you going like what's the what's the thing that you would get them going with like to well, you could tell people out there that help, help them okay one of the things that you got to do is actually set up a goal right always set up some kind of realistic goal at the same time set up a timeline so let's say if you want to lose like uh, 10 pounds right you could set up a week two weeks or even three weeks so you set up a goal you set up a plan now you got to stick to it you just got to commit to it so what I have I actually done something called the little black dress mm -hmm. challenge Right. So what it is like, you know, a lot of women, they talk about they got this little dress that they got in the closet. They want to fit on it, but they can't fit on it, whether they go into a wedding or they're going to go to a party or something like that. But they're always looking at it, always talking about it. You know what? I want to fit on that dress, but they can. Right. Yeah. So what I do is actually set up a rapid weight loss program that would allow uh, any woman right, to lose anywhere from five to 13 pounds in a week so they could fit into that little black dress. So that motivation that you were saying, right. that motivation could be your dress, your shirt, or a pair of pants that you haven't worn in a long time. Like let's say if something's tied around you, you know, let's say you want to do a, a walk with your grandkids again or with your kids, this is your motivation. You pick something you want and you focus on it and then you reach it. Yeah, my problem is I go to centuries and I say, oh, I'm gonna fit into this. <laughs> you start squeezing into it, you're like, Oh boy, I got to go back to the gym a little bit longer <laughs> yeah. to get, you know, it's just like it never ends, but I know. that's, the, that's but the hard part. You know what it is? It, it's, if you guys think about it, fitness, fitness is not about working out just one day or two days or anything like that. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, if you think about it like that, that's how you actually get, make changes and you see results. And one of the things that I always tell people, if you have commitment, you will see results, but you have to have commitment, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yes. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get back to you on that, Dave, sure. because that's that's a great um, mm -hmm. 
great subject right now since everybody's getting ready for the, the, the summer. Beach, the yeah. summer yeah. weather. Summer bodies, right? that's right. So that's that's a good topic, and um, you know, you're doing a lot of uh, good things for people by doing Thank that you. too. Thank you. you know. Mm -hmm. So, but oh, we got we got a musical guest that's coming out, Frank. But before we do that, we're going to show we had a great guest on on one of my shows. My uh, um, shows Liberty DeVito. He he's he was Billy Joel's mm -hmm. um, original drummer who recorded <coughs> everything, uh, all like the Glass House um, album. He was the he was the drummer on it. So he did all the major major work for him when he be became famous and stuff. So I have an interview with him. I'm just going to show you a little uh, bit of that interview. Brian, do you have that before we go on? And then we're going to. Yeah, he said he got it. Yep. He's got it? Mm hmm We're here tonight at uh, the TV studio. We got, uh, we got a special guest for um, uh, Nevin Cummings Comedy Show, Staten Island Comedy Show, and we got Who Do You Like TV, and we got the Slim Kings. How you doing? How you doing, man? So who do you play? What's your name? Uh, my name's Michael. I sing and play the guitar. Hey, Mike. Yes? Liberty. Drums. Liberty. Drums. I'm Andy. I play the bass. Okay. All right, so um, so he's here tonight. So uh, where, where are you coming from? You, see, you had a gig? Uh, Brooklyn, baby. Brooklyn. This is where we live. Brooklyn, Brooklyn New York. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, listen, I, I heard, I was listening to your album. You got some nice stuff on it. Blues, live sound, and you don't, you don't hear that much anymore, the live, live band stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, the, the, uh, the album that I, the, the CD that I heard, that was like two years old, right? It was a, okay. yeah. Were you all playing on it at that time? We were, and uh, yeah. we like to make records where we're all playing at the same time, in the room at the same time. Yeah, and, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, old style now, but it's for us, it uh, always provides something new. Yeah, cool, cool. And uh, so, Liberty, you're the drummer. Yes, I And you, I, I heard you played with a, uh, another um, great act at one time. Who might that be? Uh, it wasn't Billy Joel. It wasn't Billy Joel, right, yeah. <laughs> so, I, so uh, yeah, yeah. How many years did you play with? Them? 30. 30 years? 30, yeah. Wow. I think Al Capone spent less time in prison than... Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so you went through the hard times with him, too, then, oh, right? Yeah. At the went end. Went through the hard yeah. times, went through the great times, and then went through the hard times again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how was it like being a... Um, you know, in a superstar band like that. You, know. you mean this band here? Superstar? Yeah, well, this, uh, you guys are great. These are my superstars right yeah, here. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should say, right, to that? now, right? Well, we're going to hear the superstar. We're going to hear the new version of you guys, right? And, uh, yeah, so, all right, so, yeah, so, do you miss uh, Billy Joel? No. No, right? No. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, all right. So, like, where do we go from So, here? yeah, so what, what is your next album? When is your next album? When are you still doing your... Slim Kings, with, go ahead, yeah. tell them. Go ahead. We finished uh, our last record. We just finished recording it. We're going to put it out shortly. We're sort of dropping little singles and stuff. You can find all our music uh, yeah. at slimkings.com Slim or King. on okay. uh, Facebook. You like us and all the usual suspects. All right, so there it is, Billy Joe's drummer. Um, for 30 years, 30, 30 years, Liberty DeVito. Wow. So we had, we had nothing but famous people on Who Do You Like TV. I mean, Bloop. Bloop is a, is a famous paddleboard player. He's, he's, yeah. he's unknown, but he's, he's known. He's known, he's yeah. known but he's <laughs> unknown. He's getting there, in that's other getting words. There. He's getting there. Well, he's on Who Do You Like TV. Yeah. Fred, that's like you. Yeah, right. yeah. You're known, but you're like unknown. yeah, I'm known. You're very well unknown. <laughs> I'm known not to be known. No, I, you got to see. The other day, I'm I'm driving the car. All of a sudden, this guy pulls down his window. He goes, "Freddie!" He goes, "Freddie!" I said, "Why?" I said, "What's the matter?" He says, "I love your show. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you." I says, "All right, I'll see you next time." <laughs> you, know, you, you never know. But no, nah, it was that's that so was. Funny. It's nice to be. Yeah, yeah, it is recognized. Yeah. Recognized. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. And plus, you're leaving a legacy. Yeah. You know? Because you better, never know when you help out. It's better when you're recognized as an unknown because once you, you know, well, you know, like the Beatles, they said, we wish you could, we could play in a corner and not nobody know us and just like our music, our new music of today. You know what I mean? Like, because once they know they're a Beatle. So much noise around. Well, no, it's not that. They, they think they're great. Yeah. You could play, um... Humpty Dumpty or something, and they, they'd say, oh, that's the great, you know, but, uh, you know, and then, then I really better not the to talent. be known, in, you know, to be, you know, yeah. Yeah. better to be loved, never to be loved. Yeah, before. but what happens when what you happens? get, somebody mistakes you for somebody else. Yeah. I had that. 
Yeah? Yeah, I was walking into a building, and yeah. these two girls was walking out. And they took me for Steve Martin. I heard the girl tell the other girl, look at that jerk. Wow. <laughs> I can see that kind of. <laughs> Steve, I can that. see it. The jerk, the movie, the jerk. The jerk, the jerk. <laughs> Yeah. Bloop is like Ed, the Ed McMahon of, um, yeah. Hey, I like him. Long. He laughs at all my jokes. So long. But anyway, all right, so. He just takes most of the couch up. All right. Yeah. Why don't we, uh, <laughs> you want to you wanna sing a song oh. first? Or you, you want to do the video? Yeah, first? maybe talk about the video, what, the, what it was about. The song, yeah, well, this song that you want to you say think, what the song is about. Yeah, I think it was um, going to be Skelter, too, wasn't it? That's later, that's later. Yeah, yeah so um, the song that the, we're going to show the video, Fred Kosh, uh, he's the creator of this song, by the way, and he gave me the privilege of singing on the song, which was just a great experience. And I want everyone who watches it now to realize that the song itself was done, recorded, mixed, and completed in another three hours. And uh, I think oh, when you wow. listen to that, yeah, the, the, the whole song was done. Fred did all the music in one hour with all the keyboards. He had different keyboards. I did this, the vocals, and Fred did some uh, backup vocals. And then we mixed it, and it was done in less than three hours at uh, Phoenix Studios. And I was very happy. My son, uh, who takes classes there, was part of the experience, which was really nice for me. Um, you know, it's a great video. And uh, Fred, why don't you tell me about the lyrics, how, how it started? Oh, the lyrics, well, the lyrics with uh, Jimmy Jimbo from um, California. He, um, I was friends with him and stuff, and, and he, he had... You know, he had written a, a couple of gospel. I says, he, he wrote a, he wrote a, he says, I got this song that, you know, he, he, he died and came back, and he wrote this song, and, it's, and it and was called Please Don't Let Me Die. Was it a car wow. accident? What, what happened yeah, it was a him? car accident that he had. And he was, he, they pronounced him dead, and he came back to life, wow. and um, he started, you know, he was a writer, you know, he's a songwriter, and um, he wrote this song, Please Don't Let Me Down. And um, so I says, you know what, I want to record this. And then I was thinking of Frank James. I says, Frank probably could do this song really good. Thank you. And that's how we did it. So let's, uh, you want to check it out? Yeah. What do yeah. you think? Can we check the song out? Please don't let me down. The video, right? Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah, so there it is. The children wait In you there is life and truth Sometimes we look far away Instead of seeking you Instead of seeking you There's a difference When you're living The God inside of you So much wrong in my life 
the song that he wrote <laughs> when he came back to life and, and he, you know, mm -hmm. and he started writing again. He wrote that song, Jimmy Jimbug, but um, it's a, I think it's a great song and it's a, it's a song that, you know, you have to have faith in God, you know, what, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. you believe in, there is a God out there, you know, so... And uh, Frank, you did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Thank you. That was your brainchild, so. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, it's anyway. a beautiful song. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Anyway, so, but all right. On a, on <coughs> that note, on that note, <laughs> and a good uh, note. we have we have some comedy tonight. We are. We got <laughs> Joe Long. Joe Long, did you he show up? Hey, he's here. No, Joe he's Long late is again. in the building, everybody. Let's hear it for Joe <laughs> Long. Yeah. Okay. Yo, don't go too far out because I, you want to be, can, do I get be seen. Oh, get, get the mic. mic. There's the mic. Oh, no, right there. There's <laughs> the mic. You didn't know my... No, grab the mic and then bring it out here. Bring it over here. I'm bringing it over here. All right. I don't, I don't work for the staff. Yeah. Right. Okay. First of all... First of all... It's nice being here again. All right, Joe. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I feel Clap. so warm. Are you looking at my butt? <laughs> uh, Amanda, to look at it, you can. <laughs> Miranda. Uh, Miranda. 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 Keep your name mixed up. <laughs> okay, let's start out with this stuff. First of all, yeah. I don't know how much longer I got, but I want to tell you right now. How long do you got? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> jump in the punch line. <laughs> You're jumping into the punch But I just want to talk about what's going on in Congress. Congress? Microphone. Yeah. Microphone. Okay, that's better? Yeah. Okay. What's going on in Congress? Come on. You people. Who voted the Democrats in? I don't know. Because one thing, they get into office, first thing they do, they want you to vote them. Oh, we're, we're going to think about America. No, you don't. You don't think about America. You start thinking about people, illegals. They get everything from you. We don't. First thing they want to do is take our money to give it to them. Wait a minute. I work hard. I want to give money where it belongs. Joe, why don't you give me your money? Would I'll you take, like it? I'll take care yeah, of you it. Can take, you're, you're just like Congress. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I want I want 80% of your, your dollars. 80%? You <laughs> definitely are Congress. They want us to give all the money to them. You know, they got all these free things they're going to give. They want to give money to people, $15 an hour not to work. I think that's a great idea because I'll take the $15 an hour not to work. Then a couple, you know, after a couple of weeks, I'll come back and I'll say, you know, I can't do it on 15 an hour. You got to give me more. Because if you don't give me $15 more, I'm going to go out and get a job. <laughs> you know? But like I said, they keep going after Trump. Why go after a guy that's finally doing something for America? Come on. Unemployment is down. Record lows. Unemployment for women is down. Record lows. Sounds like you, Joe. I'm always down. Uh, down. Record low? <laughs> but I, I tell you. Oh, down. <laughs> <laughs> you ruining my I can't, I can't, I can't do nothing here. I'll tell you what I'm going to I think we got two comedians. He's, he's looking at my butt <laughs> yeah, again. I can feel the warmth <laughs> on my butt. It's the breathing. Fred. I'm Joe, you got, to, you, know, you got a lot of fans out there. Do I got a lot of fans? Say hello to them. Hi, how you doing and stuff? Back at the ranch. Yeah. Mom and Pa Ketter was being held down. If it wasn't for Rex, the Wonder Dog, we'll go into that story later, okay? But I'll tell you one thing. Everybody keeps asking me, do you really come from a family of 13? Yes, I came from a family of 13. Nine boys, four girls. Everybody will say, wow, your father must have loved your mom. No, he hated her guts. He was hoping to get lost in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a baseball team. Like I said, he had nine boys. I used to hate it when he would trade a brother. Or he missed my half-brother, Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good guy. Well, like I said, it's tough. What's my, well, why, my family had 13 kids. My mother couldn't cook. What? Worst cook in the world. I tell you, she was bad. She thought bosilism was a flavor. <laughs> you ever heard of a turkey dying of dirt degree burns? Yeah. Uh, my f that's why we had 13 kids. My father kept her in the bedroom. He knew if she was going out into the kitchen, she was going to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like I said, we cried the night my father died. My father was a cook in the family, and we cried when he passed away. We knew we got to eat her cooking. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, oh, you had her cooking. <laughs> Be nice. I am being nice. She was a wonderful woman, beautiful woman. <laughs> Just keep her out of the kitchen. Right. <laughs> she definitely was going to kill somebody. <laughs> well, anyway. 
I heard you were very close with Superman. Oh yeah, I was close with Superman. I used to wear the uniform. Yeah? Yes. I, I had to give it up. I lost the legs. You lost the leg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all that landing. <laughs> you know? It was like kryptonite. It don't make me weak. It, that's going to be a bad rash. <laughs> <laughs> but I t hate to tell you where the rash is. <laughs> Yeah. Fred, you're looking at it again. <laughs> I can tell it's getting warm. Go ahead. I don't want you looking at my butt. 62 years old, I gotta tell you, it's still tight <laughs> and smooth. But let's go into another story. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you, you're, you're right. You're now. looking at my <laughs> butt. I know he is. Okay, let's get back. I, you know, I took Fred, I told, I told you, I thought about going gay. Just an but it means a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> hey, back up too oh, much, I can't so. go past the line here. I got to be nice, okay? Back up too much, yeah. Oh, okay, so. I tell you, I just had, you know, my girlfriend the other night, she told me what's going on. We're not having enough sex. I told her, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm doing pretty good out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. What? That's terrible. Fred's not having it. He's not having it. You know what? You can't. Miranda's back here. You're talking like that. What? <laughs> I'm being nice. I'm not it's using okay. four letter words. Uh, it's his girlfriend that should be worried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Amy. You kidding? Oh, you'll you, get it. You'll wait, either you, like it or you'll wait, lump it. The other night, he wanted to do something kinky. So I tied it to the bed and I went out. What <laughs> 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 up, Bob? You tied it to the bed. Yes, well, I tell you what, she broke up with me. Oh. Really? I understand why she wanted to break up with me and stuff. She wants to spend more time with her husband and her boyfriend. <laughs> Like I said, I'm going to miss paying for that sex. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, you say, oh, you pay for sex? Yeah, it's like car insurance. You don't want it, but you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you really go covered with the... Look at well, Miranda, how she's laughing. Well, uh, I love him. You can't say nothing about a Miranda. Yeah. She is beautiful. She, she can look at my butt. You can. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I feel the warmth on the butt. He's getting uncomfortable. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm wait, wait, wait. That's not my wallet. That's my phone. Everybody yeah. keeps going. Is it a smartphone? Tell people out with about me. Facebook. What do you think about Facebook? Oh, I'm starting Choice Book. <laughs> I started Choice Book. You know how you, in Choice Book, when you befriend somebody, that's called salvation. And when you unfriend them, that's damnation. Mm. <laughs> I, uh, did you say something about the Facebook? What? Facebook. Facebook. I was McCoy. Facebook don't want me on it anymore. Why? They said I ain't got the face for it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got the face for it. You know you got it. Now you got it. Now you got it. Now you got it. You got it. You know something? I just got a message uh, uh, My boss just doubled my pay. Get out. Yeah, he folded it. <laughs> you know, I could take my pay to welfare and I'll say, what kept you? <laughs> I take my pay to the bank. <laughs> the girls, I got to deal with them. It's okay to laugh as long as you don't point. <laughs> I, I bought my pay in one night. I gave him, told the girl to put it in the thing. She looked at the pay. She put her hand up. I said, what are you doing? She goes, aren't you going to rob us? I said, why would I rob you? She goes, come on, you can't live on this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I have the cheapest boss in the world. Wait, I gotta stand on the line. They keep telling me, stay on the line. Before you say that, what what is your most uh, funniest cartoon that you used to like? Cartoons. What was your favorite cartoon? Oh, uh, Bugs Bunny. Get out. Yeah. Why? You remember Bugs Tell Bunny? Me. Starting here, starting now. <laughs> you don't remember that? No. Oh, come on. Well, I, I remember uh, Rabbit. Uh, no, you remember what's McCoy, you know? <laughs> That's uh, Elmer Fudd. Oh, no, that's Elmer Fudd. Fudd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Elmer Fudd. Fudd. That's what I'm thinking. Well, he's talking about. Did you Elmer remember? Fudd. How about McGilla Gorilla? Could you do it? <laughs> McGilla. I hated McGilla Gorilla. <laughs> remember the song McGilla Gorilla? Yes, I know. Yeah, how much is the gorilla in the window? How, how much McGilla? McGilla. 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 Full of charm and No, McGilla for sale. For sale. Well, yeah. No. Well, no, I, I, I didn't even watch that cartoon. I Come on, Joe. Don't lie to people. You did. No, I didn't. How about Hong Kong Fui? What was your favorite one then? Tell them. Tell My them. favorite one? I told you, the Bucks Bunny show. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. No other? What's McCoy? Hit the lights. What's McCoy? How did it go? Stop the lights. See, I bring it back in. Uh, now you got my, you know, I'm getting old. I can't even remember <laughs> things. I can't remember my first name. All right, Joe. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm Joe. 
Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Long, but we, we got it. We got Joe. We got you in a. We got you in the movie. We got now. We're gonna have a cartoon with you in it. Well, well, you're, no, wait, wait. you're becoming famous. I'm becoming now. famous. I'm just not getting the money. That you know, in the cartoon, famous. you know what your name is in the cartoon. Right? Yes. What? Can I tell him? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't even tell me about the cartoon. <laughs> yes, I told you about. What? It. When? Talk, no. What's your name? In the cartoon. In the cartoon. We we'll call you Wiggy because remember you you sometimes you, you, you always make him fun of my hair. No, no, I'm not making. I fun. don't know. No, I'm not making you fun of your hair. No, I'm just saying. Some nights. Even, hey, there's something in here. No, no, but people say, "Wow, you know, Joe Long." Sometimes his hair floats up. I says that's, that's what, because I fucked it up. I got the hair blower. I spent hours in front of the hair blower. Uh -huh. I'm going to man. Oh, is that what you do? They said it's a wig. I said no. It's no. Not. Tell them. Tell them. No, it's not a wig. It's not a wig. Say Trump's, right? <laughs> yeah, right. There's something yeah. in there, I'm pretty sure. It goes from one side to the other. Okay, let's get back to what I was talking about. All right, hurry up. Because and stop we're slowing down. down. We're, yeah, because you keep interrupting me. We're coming to a halt. We're coming to a halt. I got to stay on the line. You know, people are enjoying you. Are they? Yeah. I could tell. I see it. I could see them jumping you, you, you on the couch. You want to something? No, they're all, look, look, what, look at that. Yeah, well, you realize one thing? I gave up four years. They're all jumping. I gave up four years of Jewy off for this. That's funny. What? Uh, Why? Oh, wait a minute. I'll tell you one thing. I'm running for public office. Get out. Yes. Yeah. My campaign is going to be legalized prostitution. <laughs> so you know at the beginning what you're going to get. That's why they call you Joe Long. prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> that joke went over your head. <laughs> They, do I, okay, I gotta explain this joke to you. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm gonna first thing to do, I'm gonna legalize prostitution so you know at the beginning of my term what you're gonna get. Think about it. I got time. She got it! Aurora's <laughs> laughing and she's not even at home watching it. She got the joke! I honestly don't know what's going on. You don't understand the joke. We got five people in the audience and it sounds like She's laughing because she knows the joke. Explain it to them. You want to explain it to them? Okay, you explain it to them. She got the joke. Okay, wind it up. I got to say good night. I got to say goodbye. Let me put All right. the mic up. Yeah, say, you want to say one more thing to the people? Yes. God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. <laughs> what? God bless Donald Trump. God bless, <laughs> God bless Donald Trump. You want to get a red hat to go with that jacket. <laughs> All right, everybody. Joe Long. <laughs> All right. Known in the cartoon as Wiggy. I, I still like Les McCoy's here. There's only one audience member. We got the joke in the audience. I know. Well, listen. We only have one person. At the end of the show, we have one person in the audience. At the end of the show, I'm going to So that means it's 100% if we have one audience. Yeah, yeah, right. 100% right. <laughs> right. if you got the joke. laughing right now. Did you get the joke? Yes, I got it. Okay. Miranda, you get the joke? No. I don't know what's going on. I didn't get it either. I didn't get it either. See, look, we're both lost. Yeah. Be right back. Where are you going? So, Bloop, <laughs> Bloop over here, you could get him. When is your next tournament, Bloop? 18, May, May 18th. May 18th? Now who are you oh. playing up against? Now you got it. Yeah, Youngsters. You got it? Yeah, yeah, Youngsters. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you got the trophy. Look at Blue's trophy. Where'd you get that? Tell us about it. Get it, No, we didn't get it either. None of us. We got it. That's the joke. We're the non-Trump side here. Oh, okay. we're going to get it. In part of it. They don't want to talk about politics. Yep. They don't want to talk about politics. But I just stay out of it. Blue, I don't right? even. I'm at the yes. I stay out of it. So go ahead, Blue. Tell us about this. That was a a single.